Hello YouTube, it's the Kim 1114. Um, I just thought I would come today and show you how I um actually shampoo my hair. It's time for a shampooing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing that in a second. Um, I did a tutorial on how I co-wash my hair or, or, or use the uh, Herbal Cleanse Dry Shampoo. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I actually shampoo my hair this time. Um, first of all, the type of shampoo that I'm gonna be using is um Afro G shampoo for damaged hair. Um, the only reason why I'm using this shampoo is because um, when I take my braids out, I won't be using it anymore. Um, I didn't notice a difference in my hair from using it. I know a lot of people um, have great results from using it, but I didn't notice anything, uh, any difference in my hair at all from um, using it. Um, I just didn't notice a difference. Um, mainly because I read a lot of reviews and I found out that if you don't have damaged hair, you probably won't notice a difference in it. So, um, my hair was healthy. It wasn't damaged before I started using it. So, I guess that's why I didn't notice a difference in it. So, I decided to go ahead and use this up. Because, like I said, it's about a, it's about half full. So, uh, I decided to go ahead and, like I said, use all the rest of it up. I'm not going to use a cream conditioner in my hair. I don't like using cream conditioner when I have micro braids. Mainly because it softens the braids and it make it easier to slide. So, I won't be using uh, a cream conditioner in my hair. What I'll be using is the Pro Vitamin Alpha G Leave In Conditioner. And it's not very much in here. Like I said, I won't be using these products um, when I take my braids out. That's why I'm going to go ahead and use them up now. And I'll probably go ahead and spray the green tea in my hair also. It's not that much in there either. So, Although I have been using this a lot. I might might purchase this again, the Leave In Conditioner Spray, while I got braids in. But when I take the braids out, I'll probably stop using it. I'll probably just stick with my regular... um the regular products that I normally use in my hair of uh, silk element products. I'm going to section my hair down the middle and I'm going to put it in four sections and plait it. So yeah. I'm just going to do one section and then I'll come back and I'll show you the rest. Well I'll go ahead and do all of it. You want to plait it really loose so you can get to your scalp. The main thing, I'm going to clean all my braids but I want to start with the scalp just like I did on the other so I'll just pat this down and actually really when I shampoo my hair I really normally I don't plait it like this I just get up on there and I just shampoo it but I'm going to do it this way just in case um some of you all do your braids you'll be afraid that they're going to slide out or anything like that so I'll do it this way like so and I'm just going to take a little small rubber band black rubber band and put it on the end just keep the end just to keep from coming down which it shouldn't come down anyway but I do that so I'm going to go ahead and plait all four sections and then I'll, I'll be right back okay I'm back um, I, as you can see I already uh, part of her four sections um, since my hair is really oily from moisturizing, uh, I'm going to probably uh, rinse my hair for a while before I actually start shampooing. So uh, I got the water going out red. I bought this attachment at um, the Green Supply House. I only paid like 4 or $5 for it. And it's much easier than trying to stick my head actually up under the sink and wash it. Uh, normally I do this in the shower, but um, for filming purposes I can't do that. So, Okay, here we go. Well, hold on, let me get out of my shirt. I don't want to wear my t-shirt up. All right, here we go. So what I do, I just um, actually shampoo each section. I mean, I shampoo, rinse each section really good before I uh, actually shampoo it. And I hope this is filming. You want to rinse it really well, especially if your hair was really oily like mine was. This is actually my first time shampooing my hair 
like this since I put these braids in because I, I did like two cold washes on my hair um, since I had a in. Okay, that would be good. Enough. So now I want to take the shampoo. And you don't want to... I'm just going to pour it down. First of all, I'm in there. And you don't want to scrub extremely hard. You want to barely, I hope you can see what I'm doing. You want to barely um, rub the scalp. If you scrub extremely hard, it, it, it probably will loosen your braids up some. So. Oh, this feels so good. I haven't shampooed my hair since. Since I had these braids in, like I said, I did a, a, a cold wash, two cold washes actually. And I don't have no shampoo. And I am keeping my eyes closed because I do not want to get shampoo in my eyes. So, hopefully you can see. Try to turn it away so you can see it. Better. And you can you can shampoo it twice if you want to. Um, since I know it'll be a while before I actually do this again on these braids, it'll probably be about a month before I actually shampoo them. I do a cold wash again in two weeks with the dry shampoo, but I probably won't shampoo my hair like I am now for another uh, month or so. Yeah. <laughs> got water all over my face. Okay. I'm going to shampoo mine twice because my hair was really oily. So. Like I said, I don't really care how much shampoo, how much of the shampoo I use. Um, now, if I didn't have these, uh, uh, the Apogee shampoo and I was planning on using it, when I take my braids out, I wouldn't be shampooing my hair with this. No, I would use just like a regular cheap shampoo uh, to shampoo my braids with. Um, like VO5 or Suave or something like that. Something really cheap. I wouldn't use a, a really good expensive shampoo in my hair uh, while I got micro braids in it. Unless you were using like a new growth treatment or something. I would, I, would, I would use it then. I ordered it also, but I haven't gotten mine yet, so... Okay. So that's my sh my second shampoo. Now I'm gonna start. Um, I'm gonna take the plaits down now because I'm getting ready to shampoo the ends of my hair also. The main thing is when you're shampooing your braids, not to um, go in a circular a circular motion. I can't even say it. You want to go straight down when you shampoo them. I can't. So what I'm going to do, I took it down already. I'm going to put a little shampoo on my hand. Rub together. And you just want to go in one direction. Straight down. Don't do that. If you do, your braids will be really extremely tangled. And so the ends of my hair wasn't, wasn't really that, that dirty. So, um. Uh, I probably just do this once on the, on the ends of my hair. On the next section. Take it down. One direction. Like I said, you always want to go in one direction when you're doing the ends of your hair. Because you don't want to tangle your braids. And if any of my braids slide out, I will let you know. <laughs> Ain't no shame in my game. If one slide out, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to put it back in. 
But uh, like I said, I've done this numerous times on shampooing my hair, and I never, ever had a braid slide out, really. 